Good afternoon everyone. My name is Keith Hull and I'm the founder of Stone Culture. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Stone Culture Napping Jig. What you're going to want to do is make sure the bolt is snugged up, the uh, eye bolt with the nut on the bottom, and you want to push it all the way forward so that it's seated against a bench. Now this is going to hold that bottom nut in place so that you can spin the eye bolt on top to adjust the height. Next, you're going to want to use your screws. Put them in the pre-drilled holes here. And screw this down tightly to hold the jig from moving. Okay, I'll be right back. Kind of hard to do without two hands. Alright, there we go. Now our jig's set up. Depending on the preform you're going to nap, you can use this reversible jig, reversible clamp, to just hold the uh, as a backstop to keep it from sliding and moving. Or you can spin it around and you'll notice that there's a uh, I'll show you here. There's a recessed lip cut into the edge of the clamp. <clears throat> that allows you to actually clamp down onto the preform to keep it from spinning or moving, sliding around. So you would set that in there, put it up tightly. Decide where you want to place the preform and then tighten her down. So I'm going to have to get some wing nuts here so this is easier. Otherwise, you can just put a wrench on there to spin it a quarter of a turn, clamp it, and hold it in place. So this is my Ishi stick, it's just a 12 inch long. Uh, UHMW rod which is ultra high molecular weight plastic and I'm using a copper alloy rod that's actually a four inch insert so you have lots and lots to work with it's very important here that you use the hammer to flatten it out to a four-sided point with a flat tip just to show you what that looks like in a blown up version this is what the end of the pressure flaker should look like. And you don't nap with this side, and you don't nap with the end. You actually nap with the angle right in between the two. This is the piece that you put on the preform to pull the flakes off, pop. And then when it gets dull, you can spin it, and you have four sides to work with. By hammering the copper, you're actually uh, hardening and strengthening the copper, where if you use a file, you're removing material and softening the tip. So you just you can actually operate this with one hand or with two. You put your the tip of your pressure flaker on there where you want the, the flake to be. And you just lift up to pop a flake off. Move over a little bit, pop another flake. Move over a little bit, pop another flake. You can spin this loose a little bit. I'm just going to keep it a little bit finger tight there. And you can articulate this preform around however you want. You also have a lot of slide adjustment and if you want to nap something that's uh, gosh four or five inches wide or if you want to just nap an arrowhead you could slide it all the way up so you're just right there at the edge again if your flakes are not going the right length or too long shooting all the way across you can uh, raise this up or down to adjust the length of your flakes and again so if we could see here, because the nut is tight against the bench, as I spin the eye bolt 
the nut just stays in place and that will adjust up or down and I can tighten it in place where I want it. Pretty cool, huh? Check out the link in the description in the comments. Come check out Stone Culture where our inventory is updated daily of all your pressure flaking needs. Thanks, have a great day and good napping to you.